All right, guys, how's it going? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Yes, we are officially one week post Arnold UK, and it's Sunday. We've been relaxing all week, and you know what? I just thought I might as well do this little video for you guys, a little vlog day. Just kind of give you guys insight on what everything's been like the past few past week or two, and uh, at the same time, I'm gonna build meal prep going because I got this. Juicy ass steaks, as you can see here. Nice. I'm about to stick it on a barbie, a Sunday afternoon barbie. The weather is nice and sunny outside. So, you know what? Come with me and uh, let's, let's do this. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, we're back home from the Arnold Classic Pro Show. Say back home, you know, Arnold Classic it was in Birmingham. It was literally just about two hours drive from where we are here. Or two and a half hours. And man, how do we feel about that show? Honestly, that was by far, I think, how do I put it? The best show we've had. And the most impressive show, and for me personally, the most impressive show, even for me, that we've had, you know. And an absolutely insane oh, yeah. UK audience. You know, I was really shocked, man, because, you know, mm -hmm. Because it's, UK is not as big as the US, you know, and when you go to US, you expect a lot of people, you expect a lot of crowd. But UK, I was thinking that you, we were going to get good support in the UK, but I thought it was going to be a little bit less. But honestly, the turnout was ridiculous. The turnout was, was shocking, you know, we did a meet and greet, and we were there, you know, another hour after the whole place closed, just, you know, meeting people. Same thing with the expo, you know, <laughs> the queue for the expo was really, I think, it didn't just shock me, but it shocked a lot of people. It shocked me. Because I weren't expecting to have a queue that long. I think people, people queued for about two hours just to just to get a chance to say hello. For those people that kind of came to the, the, to the both the Arnold Week and Week and the Expo, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys coming out and um, staying in that queue for everything. It meant a lot. And in terms of the show itself, we obviously had a different approach to the show this time. We wanted to make sure that we know, I mean, through the whole prep, we sort of knew our look going in from Monday to Friday when we were both our highest, you know, fullest at the beginning of the week, you know, after carping up and what we would look like during the end of the week, where we are completely depleted and, um, you know, not as much carbon system. And we saw that, and time and time again, you know, we always looked better at the end of the week in terms of conditioning that we did at a beginning of the runway of Fullest, regardless. So it was one of them concepts where we just thought, look, you know, the whole idea always has always been to like really carve up going to a show. And this time we just thought, you know, every time we do carve up for a show, like you're meant to in the idea of bodybuilding, we never look that great for it. We always look better when we're more flatter and depleted. So it was basically that concept, we built off that, off that concept and uh, Mel basically just took it upon herself to say, okay, I know exactly how much carb we're going to put into you. That will be enough to not really carb you up, but just enough to make you full enough so we can put water on so you still look as hard and as separated and as dry as you can be. And, you know, I'm really glad to say that that actually worked out. And we had a look that we've never had before, you know, and between the pre judging on Friday and the finals, that look just got more harder and more drier and more separated. And you know what? I was I was extremely impressed, and it felt like we've learned a new idea of us of how to pick us for a show. We finally got that main strategy for that thanks to this last show we did, which was you know, which was you know, it's been, you know, people don't understand how stress how stressful and frustrating it is when you go through the whole diet week after week. You go through the training, you do all the cardio, you do all the work, and then the last bit of putting it all together is the last bit that just tends to just fall apart because you never get enough chance to try that and to test it out. We did kick your ass in between as well. Oh well, yeah, we did kick my ass in between even more. And obviously getting over... And you were sick as well. Getting over being sick, you know. First and then, week post of first you were week very post, sick. Yeah, and we were um, just retraining so much water from that. And wasn't really responding to anything, no, but no. This, we kept pushing, 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 pushing. And yep. uh, it was, I think it was like Monday or Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday, like, finally. Week. It was week. like okay. Now things, we actually look yeah. like the body's finally responding again. Like, yeah, things is, you know things things are looking the way they were supposed to look on uh, that stage. So that called for a lot of drinking. 
because I remember that whole week coming back and trying to go with an illness. We started drinking a shitload mm -hmm. of water, side of nine, hostile side of nine in water bottles. That, you know, had rehydration. That really works. Yeah. It really works. You look, if you're ever sick and they say, man, you need to get some more fluids on you, I recommend that. Because mm -hmm. that really helped. You know, it helped me get over the flu very quickly. Helped get my body regulating itself very quickly. And it was amazing, man. It really helped out. So it put us in a state where we knew we could then go back into a show. You know, not looking beaten, not looking tired, looking fresh. And then being able to go through the drying out process one more time. And that's really sort of the gates, the beginning of a great showing. And the feedback we got after that was, <laughs> It was crazy, man. The feedback itself was one of the most positive things about it because as much as it is, you know, we all want the win. We all want to get that first place called out. But for us, it was more trying to finally prove a point that we can nail it and we can bring it on the stage. And I said, like I said before, we're still learning, man. It's not when you have a body this big and this, uh, this responsive to everything. You know, we, you have to learn what it needs and what it doesn't. And this was just another opportunity that we finally got the chance to finally get test something new and it actually worked. It was a gamble, it was a risk. You know, it could have not worked out. We could have been absolutely flat and just looked completely stringy on that stage. No, we wouldn't make it the one about that. Nah, I know you I had, wouldn't you, let you. You had a plan for it. Yeah. You had a plan for it. So but because we know you definitely uh, you put it in and that that was fire. I look far. We woke up that morning. I remember we woke up the Friday morning. We looked at it and we go, holy shit. And it kept looking better. And as the day the went day. on, it just kept on looking better and better and mm -hmm. better. And we're going, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. This and is, then this Saturday is cool. was even better. And then Saturday morning was like, okay, can we repeat that? Can we make it better? Mm -hmm. And just when you thought that, there's no way you could beat the Friday look. Saturday morning, we woke up and it was like, all right, this is this is new. This is this is different. This is this is what we've always wanted. So yeah, that it it put out a lot of joy. Uh, because we saw it, but then, uh, you know, there's one thing when we see it and then you want everybody else to see the same thing you see. And so it's not just in your head, you can actually sort of get confirmation of that. And being on that stage and getting the feedback we got, um, you know, and people being so impressed with the look, it gave us that confirmation, that confidence to say, right, we are definitely on the right track with that. So, and the show that you put with Hardy, it was it, I mean, completely the <laughs> same. If you guys want the show, man, Honestly. it was it was a dog fight, man. It was a uh, it I know was exciting. I'm was... not the only one saying that. Man, there's yeah. so many people saying, yeah. that, including Tyler Mannion. That it was a, it, it was just it was something awesome. else to watch. It was the energy on that stage, the because this for me is what bodybuilding is about. You know, to all the athletes working their ass off to bring their best to the stage, and then just battling all out mm -hmm. this gladiator battle for the win, and giving everybody a show like no other. When you, when you get off stage knowing you've done that, you don't really care so much about the results. There's a sense of pride, especially at this level, there's a sense of pride and, yeah, you know what, damn right, that, that just fills you in it. And that's what happened, man. It was a, it was a pride, man. It was like, it was, it was, it was, it was you, you, you make people who paid a lot of money to watch that yeah, show. Yeah, get their money's worth. Yeah, get the money worth. You because know. It, it was a hell of a lot of show. Yeah. I mean, Coming out to the UK audience, I remember the moment like the routine was about to go on and I was waiting for my music to start and they called my name out and I walked out and the audience just erupted, the whole yeah. place shook. When you have that kind of applaud going into a show, you're going out to the stage or you have that kind of reception going to a stage, the minute you walk out, it gives you some kind of energy that it just, it feels like it's a drug. It just, it, it fires you up. Your blood is literally, the adrenaline, everything is really heightened to a level that you just can't get anywhere else. And you walk out to that. I mean, whew, that feeling is, there's nothing like it. There's literally nothing like it. Walking out to that, it, it feels like you could fly. You could walk on air if you wanted to. You know, you just walk out and you just feel like, you feel just immortal and you stand there and you go through a routine and every move you hit, you just get like the eruption of noise and applaud. It's, <laughs> for me, that was like, that was a moment of just pure serenity where you felt like you're just in this, in this, you're just making music. You were just in this zone of it and you were just 
making art and you were just going from pose to poses and with every move you make you just felt your heart with joy honestly I, I wish I could share that feeling with you guys yeah. you understand what I mean it's there's nothing it like must it be amazing it's it was amazing like to it. watch you on that man, stage you felt it man it was a it was an amazing show the energy that you were giving out yep and then you know the two-man battle multiple multiple two-man battles we had it was like you you felt like towards the end of it you were feeling tired and you were like man okay that's I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get tired now. But then you hear the noise and you hear the roar and you're like, no, 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 no. One more, let's keep going. And you hit him most muscular and you get him more even more hyped out. And it's like, man, it, it's it's honestly I love bodybuilding, man. I love bodybuilding. It is it's it's gladiatory, man. It's like you imagine what gladiators went through when they come out in the arena and they have to, you know, do their thing for the crowd. And having that kind of feeling, there's nothing like it. It's it's amazing. So we got our steak, we got it seasoned. I'm gonna turn on the barbecue. Okay. He knows I'm filming him, so because of this one. There we go. Barbecue. Nothing beats a good barbecue. Indeed. I got it in the camera. Yes, I got it. Oh, yes. What's the Alright, alright. So grilled, cleaned, preheated. And then we'll get this steak nice and juicy. Mm -hmm. There's always a satisfying sound. Of grilling steak. Of yes. Sizzling. Oh, sizzling. Sizzling good. Maybe later you can see the phone. Mm -hmm. No, later I'm not much. But maybe if we're lucky. Yeah, the season. Ooh, okay. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Touch the flames. Look at the barbecue being so good. Yeah. You can put some money on one hit. Oh, okay. yeah. I've done one hit. Yeah. This process evenly. Have that juiciness all around. What's next for us now? So obviously, as you all know, we have the Olympia in October, which is obviously just our goal. But for now, we've had a week rest of just literally doing nothing the past week. No gymming, no diet, no program, just waking up in the morning just chilling, just doing whatever you feel like, eat when you feel like, do whatever, just kind of giving the body and the mind a rest, complete rest. And uh, next week, next weekend, we're flying out to Munich. We got guest posing spot at the Invictus Game in Munich, Germany. So that's next weekend or this coming weekend. And uh, for now, what I want to do is I want to give my body a rest for the next eight weeks. So completely clean up, rest up for eight weeks, completely. And then we're gonna start like a mini off season after that. You'll be training though. I'll be training though. Mm -hmm. But just giving everything else a rest and a break from. 
So that's the plan for that for the next eight weeks. So there's a lot of traveling going on. There's a lot of traveling the next eight weeks. So we got Munich, we got Detroit, we got Pittsburgh. Potential uh, Mexico. Potentially Mexico. Then uh, Toronto. Toronto. Arizona. Arizona. Whatever else pops up in between. Mm -hmm. So that's the plan in terms of traveling for now, as we know. And then after that, you know, by the time we oh, get July. to about June, July. July, not traveling. You know, I'm not traveling in July. But towards the midpoint in June, or pretty much beginning of uh, end of May, start of June, I start, uh, start bulking up for the off season for a little bit. And then straight into the Olympia prep from that point on. But until then, is to have a complete utter clear out and a complete utter break. So, yeah. All right. That steak is nice and cooked nicely, evenly. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. This looks beautiful. And I'm a beautiful boy. Nice, juicy. Good steaks. <laughs> Are you <laughs> you waiting for your cut? He's waiting for your share. Did you you know, the reason why man man man's best friend. <laughs> we hunt together and we share the we share the rewards. Yes. But this one there was been no hunting. <laughs> so I was waiting for the rewards. <laughs> I'm waiting my I'm waiting my palate get ready for the big one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe he's just very faking that he just came here to drink water. <laughs> what is that? Even... He didn't need to drink water all this time. <laughs> oh boy, you're funny. Oh, yeah, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that juicy, awesome state all the time. I'm master the art of that. Isn't that right, buddy? <laughs> you do not look amused at all. He's like, dude, where's my cut? I don't care about your cooking, just where's my cut? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, he's no amused. <laughs> Beautiful steak. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Look at that. That beautiful cut steak right there. Juicy in the inside, barbecue on the outside. Perfection. Yeah, indeed. Master Art, you can tell that I do this a lot. See? Master Art, that beautiful. Stay cooking. Nice. Don't look at me like, like I stole some. Oh. How's it? Perfection. Beautiful steak. Love you. Want a piece? <laughs> Want a piece? Want a piece? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get your piece. <laughs> I'm filming. I'm filming. Nice. Good, yeah. Be good, right? Like it? Nice. It's good, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I see, yes, yeah? That's his breakfast. It's <laughs> untouched. <laughs> yeah. He was waiting for the... He breakfast is untouched. Because yeah. someone has been waiting. He knew, he knew that there's something better coming along. He knew that. But that's it, man. That's all you get. I know. Sad world, but this is the code we live by. <laughs> hey, this is the code we live by. And it's all I can give you. You have, you have to eat your meal first before you can sample any of this. Breakfast over there. You see it? <laughs> Don't be so disappointed. At least you got a taste. <laughs> At least you got a taste. <laughs> hmm? Service, what about this? What about this? <laughs> what about this? No? <laughs> this don't count? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. How's it going? How's it going? Happy Sunday, guys. Happy Sunday evening. 
it's that time again. It's that time again, man. Time to get some Q&A and get some questions and answers going. So, yes, I see I got all questions already. Oh, let's get to answer what we got. All right, first question, man. Next show. Next show will be the Olympia. We're not doing anything else until then. That's the next one on the books. So, yeah, Olympia in October. So we got a lot of time between now and then. Uh, what city do I live in the UK, man? I live outside of London, man. I live in Essex. So just about an hour's drive from London. That's where I live. Uh, when is me and my missus out for a well-earned dissolved holiday? We, uh, we already got something booked out for um, first week of April. Is it first week or second week of April? Second. Well, second week of April. We already got something booked to then. But before then, we got um, obviously a show in Munich next week and then the Detroit show that we're going to be at. And then straight after that, we're going to go on holiday and have a well relaxing, enjoyable break. So, yeah, that's in the books. Uh, what's the main goal for the off season? Uh, look out, some by the way. Uh, main goal of off season, same thing with every off season, man. I want to make more improvements. I want to make more improvements for my back. I want to make more improvements to my legs, my arms. I want to make more improvement all around, like I always do, man. You know, this one we know that the last two off season I haven't tried to put on any more mass, so that's already out of the way. We're just gonna make, you know, we want more density, we want more muscle fibers in those areas. So that is the main focus for this off season. Is just making improvement all around, not necessarily put on mass, just make improvement all around. Uh, six days out of your first show, any words of wisdom, man? Try to relax as much as you can and enjoy the experience. But at this point, when you're six days out, majority of the work is done. Now you're just doing the drying out and carving off for the show. So just try to relax, man, and realize that you've already worked as hard as you can to get to this point. The rest of it is about just enjoying the process. Uh, which supplement is best? Hostile, baby. Hostile supplement, we rock. Get it. Click on the link, man. Hostile supplements. What if you pick one exercise to make your chest bigger? I'm assuming you want me to um, so pick one exercise that you would I would recommend to make your chest bigger. Bench press, man. Incline, then bench press. Nice and simple. Beside my back, is there a body part that I actually feel needs to grow? Everything needs to grow, man. This is the thing. That's bodybuilding. The reason why we train in the gym, one body part after the other, over and over, we improve in everything. You're never going to be in a state where you'll be like, man, I don't need to improve anything anymore. This body part doesn't need to grow anymore, so I'm not going to bother with it. You improve everything, that's why we stay symmetrical. Regardless of some things you have to prove more than the others, but to keep that symmetry, you have to work on everything and keep them growing all together. From your feedback from Arnold, we do change your trend to address other areas. We've already been addressing those areas, that's why they're improving as much as they are. We've been addressing those for the last two years. So, no, we're keeping it the same. Uh, do you use more free weights machine? I do both. How much time should you spend on your posing, posing routine? Is it a daily thing? How many minutes on hours? Look, we spend a lot of time in our posing, man. We do that, especially in prep. We're doing it literally straight off cardio, and I'm doing at least 30 minutes of hitting each pose and holding each pose for 30 seconds and going there and there and about, round after round. So we do normally about three rounds each time, holding each pose for 30 seconds. This is what we do to sort of make sure we have the fitness and stamina and know how to hit the pose right. So for me, that's what I spend. So for you, it depends on how, how much you want to progress or anything you want to do. But yeah, that's how much time I spend, though. How's your holiday going? Holiday hasn't started yet, man. We still got about a few more weeks before we go off on holiday. But for now, my downtime is going really, really, really great. I'm enjoying doing nothing. And not, uh, just doing nothing, man. Just eating when I want and uh, not training. Even though I'm back in the gym tomorrow. But I'm just enjoying it, man. Like, the downtime is great. Mm -hmm. uh, best meal I've had since the show. Man, I've had a lot of things since the show, man. And I mean a lot. But I gotta say, the best thing I had since I on a win was uh, the breakfast the next morning. Yeah, that was um, the fry up, the full fry up. That one I enjoyed the most. So yeah, breakfast, definitely. Fry up, English fry up, love it. Yo, advice for those people who are still in uni and trying to have a bodybuilding career. Man, do what you can with what you have, man. But I can tell you this month, man, don't jeopardize one for the other. You know, I know it's hard to balance both, but believe me, if you really try, you can do it. Just don't jeopardize one for the other. Oh, how long is my recovery plan? Two months. Yes, next two months is a complete clear of my system, man. I'll be training, but that's it. Everything else you're gonna see is just me. Uh, which bodybuilder inspired your posing style? A lot of them, man. I took a little bit from each and every person that I admire in posing. Sean Ray, Flex Wheeler, Kai Green, uh, Kevin Lavrone. You know, all these guys, I take a bit of all something I like from each one of them and I used to kind of master to do my posing style that way. So, yeah, I just take bits and pieces from a lot of guys that I look up to. Uh, 